This is Charlotte. Her parents are from the Philippines. They met in Israel after being recruited to work here. Charlotte was born in Tel Aviv and speaks Hebrew. And this morning she's getting ready for school, just like any other five-year-old in Israel. But Charlotte's different. She's one of 1,200 children the Israeli government has threatened to deport. Kids who were born here but have no documents to say they belong. It's not people that fell from the sky and one day we found out there's a, these children here. The government knew they're here and they let them grow. Shalom, נגמר הטיול, תלך הבית. Israel is changing. Historically, this country has embraced immigration, so long as the migrants were Jewish. But in recent years, non-Jews have started to arrive in large numbers. Foreign workers who do jobs Israelis don't want to do. Some have children, and the Israeli government is worried about what that means for a Jewish state. It's a question what moral face we want our country to have, a country that has a big enough heart and space to let these 1,200 children stay and grow and live here, or a country that decides to deport them. Charlotte's parents, Rhoda and Rogelio, work illegally, looking after the children of other Filipino migrants. They used to be employed legally, caring for elderly Israelis. But temporary work visas are only granted under strict conditions. Romantic relationships are forbidden, and so is having children. My employer found that uh, I'm pregnant. When they found that I'm uh, pregnant, they fired me. So I lost my visa, I lost everything. That's the time that I'm uh, illegal here. Now they have a second child, a son they've called, somewhat hopefully, Israel. And what would it be like for your daughter, Charlotte, if she had to go back to the Philippines now? It's hard for her, I think. Yeah, because she will go up here. She don't know nothing about the Filipinos. Does she think of herself as an Israeli child? Yeah, I think that. She said, I'm Israeli and you are the Filipino. <laughs> but this man doesn't think Charlotte is Israeli. Eli Yashai is Israel's interior minister and the head of the ultra-Orthodox Shas party. In 2009, he announced that 1,200 children of migrant workers would be deported. Benjamin Babayov is a member of Eli Yashai's Shas party and a Tel Aviv city councillor. He also sees these children as a threat to the Jewish state. Amen. Amen. The government's decision in 2009 to deport children divided the country and sparked months of protests. <laughs> Israelis from across the political spectrum rallied to support the migrant workers and their children. In 
אין פה, אין פה בלתי חוקיים, יש פה בני אדם. Immigration police is here. If you don't have papers, I'm sorry, but don't stay. They're coming to make arrests. Even at demonstrations like this, migrant workers were targeted. No deportation! No deportation! A group called Israeli Children was formed to fight the deportations. Its founder, university student Rotem Ilan. It's not a f just a phrase to say they are Israeli children, that's the reality. They grew up here, they were born here, they speak Hebrew sometimes even better than I do. They celebrate all the ho holidays also sometimes more than I do. They truly are the best uh, uh, Israelis they are. And just one day, out of the blue, I heard that um, the immigration uh, police is going to deport these children and families. That same second, I decided to fight this decision. The group launched a campaign to show Israelis that the 1,200 children were part of their community, growing up with their own kids. Charlotte became one of the poster girls. Really, it was very hard to think about a child that has to grow in this fear. When he grew up, no one, nobody told him, hey, listen, you're not really a part of this country. He was born here like I was born here. He grew up here thinking and knowing that this is his country, as the same as I did. And the announcement that suddenly people don't believe they, are, they belong, people want to deport them to places that they don't even speak the language, it was crashing. But to be fair, the people who come know that they've been given a visa to come for a certain period of time and then they are expected to leave. But if we choose to bring them, we need to understand they are human beings. If someone is good enough to work for us, is also good enough to be a part of our country. And we have to understand it's not working tools, it's not robots. We will bring migrant workers, they will be children. Charlotte's mother, Rhoda, says many parents went into hiding with their children. They are going to the other place to hide. I tried to hide last she year. She tried also to hide last year. I she hide with my friend, this, the mother of this kid. Yeah. We went to hide. Every time I told to them that me and her, her, her dad is uh, illegal here. Maybe someday we, went, we are going home in the Philippines and then she asked me, I don't like. I like here in Israel. I was born here in Israel. I can stay here in Israel. This mother says her five-year-old daughter is also anxious about having to live in the Philippines. She told me that she cannot speak our language, Tagalog. So she's thinking if the, somebody will understand her and what she's going to eat, she love to eat uh, Israeli food. Mm. Salad, schnitzel, like that. She likes Israeli food. Yeah. <laughs> She prefers Israeli food than uh, our food. Than Filipino <laughs> yeah. food. Yeah. צריך להגיד להם, אבא היה עובד פה כמה שנים, אמא עבדה פה, נגמר הזמן, עכשיו אנחנו חוזרים, הולכים לבקר את סבא, הולכים לבקר את סבתא, הולכים לחזרה לדודים, חוזרים למשפחה שלנו. לא צריך לבוא ולקחת אותם בצורה טראומטית ולזרוק אותם, אתם מגורשים, לא צריך לעשות להם את הטראומה הזאת. אפשר להסביר להם את זה, להכניס להם את זה לראש, זה לא הארץ שלכם. But at the school Charlotte attends, non-Jewish children are taught that Israel is their country. We are a public school, we are a secular Israeli school. We emphasize in one hand the Israeli identity. As you can Principal see, Karen Tal is giving journalists a tour of the uniquely multicultural Bialik Rogozin School. Israel's education minister opposes the deportation, so the students at risk here have a powerful ally. I don't care if this country want to close the sky and don't let nobody to come to Israel. It's okay from my point of view. But once you bring people and you create phenomena, you should take the responsibility. It's not a bad word, responsibility. 
With the government divided over what to do with the kids, it kept delaying the deportation. Then, late last year, a partial about-face. 800 of the children would be allowed to stay. 400 would still be deported. When we began this struggle, all these children uh, face deportation. And now, not only uh, half of them don't face deportation, they're also going to be citizens in this country. <laughs> so, of course, this is an unbelievable achievement. It's even more unbelievable if you think who the interior minister is. And I can promise you that this minister, Elisha, does not want any of these children to get citizenship. So, of course, this part is a victory. And yet, I do not understand and do not accept why 400 children should stay outside the arrangement. The threat of deportation is very real for Charlotte. In order to stay in Israel, a child needs to be at least five years old and enrolled in year one or higher. But Charlotte is still in kindergarten. For now, I know that 120 students, if the government will not change their decision, uh, almost 60, almost 70 percent will get the legal status and 30 percent should be deported and I hope that it will not happen because I'm like a mother. I have two daughters. Can I say which one of them I love more, Daniel or Adi? I love both of them. The Interior Minister and his supporters, like City Councillor Benjamin Babayov, are also unhappy. אני לא חושב שזו פשרה צודקת. זה שהממשלה מקבלת את הפשרה הזאת זה בגלל כל הארגוני השמאל שעושים את כל הרעש והטררם הזה. ואני בטוח שאם כל המהגרים הבלתי חוקיים האלה והעובדים זרים היו גרים בשכונות שלהם, אם הם היו גרים בשכונות אצלהם או במקומות אצלהם או שתיקח את זה אצלהם, אז הייתה נשמעת כל צעקה הרבה 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 יותר חזקה. ממה שיש את הצעקה של היום. Tonight will be the first night of an eight-day Jewish festival, Hanukkah, the festival of lights. At the Bialik Rogozin school, non-Jewish children also prepare to celebrate. And after nightfall, Binyamin Babayov and his family enjoyed their own Hanukkah celebration. Isn't it possible that these children could be good Israeli citizens? Any suffix. הם יכולים לתרום, יכול להיות שהם אנשים באמת טובים, יש ביניהם באמת ילדים חמודים. קודם כל הגעתם, נגמר הזמן שלכם. אל תשבו פה בכוח, זה לא יפה, זה לא מכבד גם אותם. תחזרו חזרה למקום מאיפה באתם. We've been bringing hundreds of thousands of migrant workers in the past years, and yet only 1,200 children were born. I think it's very clear that this is not a number that threatens the Jewish majority of Israel. The only thing that threatens threaten us is wanting to deport these children. I think that's a much bigger threat to what a, a Jew is supposed to be than to let these not-Jewish children stay here.